All right, guys, check this out. If you go and you try to buy a Cadillac with a North Star from someone, and just say you test drive the car and the car is running good, but you see a message that says, check cooling, and they tell you, oh, it just needs a sensor in the uh, cooling box. Don't buy that car. That car has a blown head gasket, okay? Now, I went back to when I bought my Cadillac and when I took it to get a transmission rebuilt, the day I was test driving it after the rebuild, I noticed in the video, and I'll give you a link to that video, you'll see where it says, check cooling. And that was when I first bought the car, what, seven years ago, six years ago, whatever it is. And so it was telling me back then it had a blown head gas, but at the time I didn't have enough knowledge. I didn't have the same knowledge I have now anyway, but it was telling me back then it had a blown head gas. So if you go to buy a North Star and you take, I mean, even if it don't run hot, you can drive the car 45 minutes. If it runs good, but you see it says a message, check cooling and the, the customer try to tell you, I mean, the owner try to tell you, oh no, it didn't, it, it just need a sensor in the reservoir. Don't fall for that. Now, if you want to know why it says that and what that has to do with having a blown head gas, it's like this. The water pump is designed to pump water, not steam. So because exhaust gas is getting into the cooling system, you know, I think old girl had a gun that got in. Anyway, um, when so much exhaust get into the cooling system, it can't pump water. And so the temperature sensor on the back of the head, on the driver's side, on the back side of the, the near the firewall, it, when it gets air, when it gets steam, is when it, it can't read steam. So it thinks that the cooling is low, but the cooling is low, it just got steam up in there. And that's why it flashes that check cooling light. Anyway, that's all I got to say on the subject.